welcome at my Christmas episode and I have my Christmas apron on with the snowman so uh, of course we'll be making some uh, cookies for Christmas uh, these are very popular in the Czech Republic and they are called včeli uli vosi hnizda which means like wasp nests beehives because they look like a uh, small beehives and they are super cute and this recipe, only a part of the recipe, is based off of my cousin's Dana's recipe and she bakes it for about 30 years now and it's a uh, super simple, there are actually uh, more than one kind of this recipe so I, uh, I have the one that's a little more simpler, you don't have to grind uh, special biscuits in it so this one is more uh, simple, uh, so I'm happy to share and you will uh, need also special molds and I will get to it. Uh, so let's start with the recipe. And I'm so excited because so many people ask me for this, but I couldn't make it available until I found a way how to get some molds for everyone to buy. Uh, so for the bottom, because we will be in Czech Republic, some people would use a special biscuits called, or wafers here would be wafers, uh, they're called piškoty. Uh, here it's similar, uh, also sold like a nail wafers, uh, but uh, I was thinking the easiest is to bake your own. Uh, this way everybody can do it. Uh, you don't have to hunt for some special biscotti. Uh, so for the base, for the bottom, we will need half cup all-purpose flour, one third of a cup powdered sugar, one egg yolk, uh, this is a half a stick of butter, which is four tablespoons and you need to have it at the room temperature so I recommend to have it sit out on your counter uh, before a like, few hours before you're ready to do it or you can put it in a microwave for a little bit just to soften it you don't want to have it liquid it uh, then for the for the shape of the beehive uh, we will need two cups walnuts uh, more powdered sugar and this is one and a half cups powdered sugar here I have one egg white, so this egg yolk, egg white is one egg, but then you will have uh, more, uh, so you will have some leftover egg white. Uh, so this is one egg white, one teaspoon of rum, and now here is the filling, uh, because we will also fill them inside with a special amazing eggnog-like flavor rum there, so it's amazing. Uh, so we have here one and three fourths of a cup powdered sugar, two tablespoons of softened butter, unsalted butter. Everything, if I'm baking, it's always unsalted butter. Uh, here we have one egg yolk and two and a half tablespoons of rum. Uh, because these are very famous for the rum flavor, so there has to be plenty of rum so you can taste it. Uh, so, and now here I have some molds. Traditionally, this is actually what my mom brought me from the Czech Republic, these are the beehives uh, and you will need the three parts, so this is, I'll show you later when we get there, uh, but these are special molds and I was able to find these types that are actually Christmas looking, so you have a tree, you have a snowman, you have a bell, same design, they're just a little bit larger. Uh, and hopefully one day I will be able to get uh, the beehives, the traditional ones. Uh, but these uh, other ones, the Christmas ones, are available in my shop. And I will put the link in the description so you can purchase them if you don't have any. So let's start with the amazing recipe. So into our mixing bowl, uh, let's add half a cup all-purpose flour. One third of a cup powdered sugar. And let's mix this together. Add one egg yolk. And here is uh, four tablespoons of butter, which is half a stick in US. We want it a little smaller, so it's easier to mix. So let's add this. So here we have our dough hook attachment. And let's mix it. And let's add speed.
just stopped the mixer because I wanted to talk to you. Uh, because we have such a small amount of dough, it's uh, harder to get mixed. So you can definitely mix it in your hands. Uh, but the softer the butter is, easier it will be to mix. Uh, so I don't mind waiting uh, and just have it uh, mixed. Uh, so let's continue mixing and I have it on the highest speed. So as you see, we finally have a, our small ball. So now we will have to finish it a little bit in our hands so as to pick up all the uh, bits and pieces. So I will go do that. So I'll get the ball out. And now I just go a little bit work with the dough to pick up all the little pieces and just to have nice and smooth dough. If you do it in your hands, the butter just gets everywhere. So I rather use the mixer and just wait for a little bit longer but it definitely worked. Isn't this the cutest dough ball that you've ever seen? It's so cute and small. I'm so used to doing huge amounts of Christmas cookies, so I have a huge dough. Because we are making just a small amount of uh, beehives, this way uh, we don't need extra large dough. Uh, so you need to put it on a plate. We will cover it with foil and we will let it sit in a fridge for one hour because this is super soft and it would stick and it would be a mess so it needs to little harden in the fridge while we wait for the dough to be chilled we can work on the top part and here i have this amazing grinder uh, i also have it in my shop so i will also put the link uh, in the description if you are interested uh, this is super amazing because it's so fast and we will need to grind two cups of walnuts. So let's do that. And this grinds it very finely. And it's done in no time. Did you see how fast it is? <laughs> I love it. Look at this. So fast. Here it is, two cups of uh, ground walnuts. Uh, let's add one and a half cups powdered sugar, one egg white, and one teaspoon of rum. Now let's mix it all together. Could also, uh, which I forgot, uh, sift the powdered sugar so it's easier and you don't have uh, big chunks like I do a little bit here. And now I will keep mixing until it's all nicely incorporated and smooth. Uh, so this is ready now and you need to cover it up so it doesn't dry up uh, before we are ready to use it. So I'll just put the lid on and now we'll be working on the filling. And you can leave it on a counter or you can put it in a fridge, doesn't really matter. For the filling, uh, we will need one and three fourths of a cup's uh, powdered sugar and uh, you have to sift it because it would be hard to pipe. So let's just put it through the strainer. And just go like that. Or you can also do it this way. Let's add two tablespoons softened butter, one egg yolk, and two and a half tablespoons of rum. Just be careful when you pour it so you don't have accident and pour over the spoon. If you add more rum, uh, the filling will be too liquidy and it will run down uh, when we try to connect the beehives. So I worked really hard to create a recipe that is just perfect. So make sure to 
not add any more RAM, even though you would maybe prefer more RAM, but I think this is plenty and you can definitely taste it. So now let's uh, mix it all together. Uh, here I have a whisk attachment and let's uh, mix it all together. First on slow so it doesn't splash and now we can add speed. This looks great and it doesn't take long and it's a nicely thick because that's what we need. You see, it's not running. And now you kind of uh, put it together, mix it, make sure there's no, nothing unmixed on the bottom. So with the spatula, just mix it like that. Uh, let's put this in a fridge and cover it up with a foil. because this needs to be chilled because the butter might get a little runny so let's keep it nice and cold in the fridge so we have a little bit of time before the dough is ready for us to use so you can now sit down put your feet up and relax a little bit before the dough is done chilling as a first step let's preheat the oven to 350 here i have a baking sheet with the parchment paper on and it's a little crumbly because it was rolling uh, so I just tried to straighten it and let's put a little bit of flour on the board before we bring our dough here is our dough from the fridge and let me bring the molds here so this is the set from the Czech Republic and this is the set that you can buy in my shop uh, it has to have three parts, uh, which it does, and it's perfect. This is for cutting out our shape, our bottom, and this is for making the fillings later on. Uh, so we will just need the round one. So let's prepare it. I put some little bit of flour on the rolling pin. And now uh, another thing I wanted to tell you, uh, as you see this original beehive mold and this one, there is a little bit of uh, height difference. So if you make the original ones, you will have 30 of them. If you make this one, you will end up with about 24. Uh, so keep that in mind. And now uh, we will roll this, but you don't wanna have it super thin because as I said, we will be making about 30, so you don't want super thin. That's why the dough is so tiny. I kind of fixed the little cracks here. And if it sticks, you can uh, use more flour for your pin. So you're looking for, let's say, if you do a round like I did, about eight inches in a diameter. Uh, this way you will know that uh, this is plenty for the 30 that we will need. Now let's do the cutouts. It's perfect height. And let's put it on our baking tray. So now here I have 20. And you wanna reuse your dough so we don't waste anything. So I just put it back into uh, kind of flat, flatten it out. And now we just need 10 more. And I'm trying to do same height on all of them. So on the tray, I uh, did 33 and this is the leftover dough. So I just put it like this. I don't have to make a shape out of it because this we can just enjoy ourselves. Just put it in our mouth as a li little extra bonus. And as soon as the oven is preheated, we will put it on to bake. And it just beeped. So it was the perfect timing. Uh, so let's bake it for eight minutes or um, you have to make sure how your oven bakes you just are looking for a light uh, color you don't want to have have them too dark 
and as you see the bottom starts to have a little bit of color you just pull them out so I will do uh, eight minutes for eight minutes is done so I will pull it out because it will still have uh, time to cool off and it has a little bit of dark edges on some of them so I will let it sit here and it needs to rest before we start to uh, assemble them together uh, so let it sit here uh, for about five minutes and then we will transport it on a platter uh, but you have to wait a total of 15 minutes for them to cool off completely uh, let's put our filling that was resting in the fridge into a piping bag I have here a tip uh, 199 it's this opening but uh, whatever you have uh, should be fine and now I have a glass and this is how I fill it I make a space in here let's get and it got nicely firm which is perfect as you see because we don't want it running so let's put it in now let's uh, close the back now shake it so it gets to the bottom and now I'll just get it like that so you can get this empty space and here it starts to come so now I will just let it rest like this it's important to have these uh, bottoms be completely cooled off because if they are not then you put the butter filling in there it can start leaking and that's not what we want uh, so these are definitely cooled off and here is the uh, mixture resting so let's start filling and I will be filling the traditional mold which is the beehive and this is how it works so make sure it's closed and now fill it just rip some piece off And you don't have to go all the way because uh, we will put the filling in there so we need some space and this is the part of the mold set so you put it in here press all the way now there is an opening for our filling so let's get the filling we'll fill it be generous And now it should open up nicely you get it out and put it on this bottom and here it's beautiful beehive and you can center it isn't it pretty yeah so let's put it on a tray every egg white uh, will be a different uh, volume just in case it will be too sticky you need to grind more walnuts and now I'll do the bell So here is the bell. Let's do this tree so we see how it looks. I recommend filling it halfway so it can reach to the top all the way here. And now we can fill the rest. A beauty let's set it up on the top and look how pretty it looks and now let's do the snowman also you want to do just half fill up so it can get to the top of the head and compress it in there and now the rest also the hands here or the arms 
so they're nicely filled up. Look how pretty it is. So cute little snowman. And let's do the traditional beehives. Let's fill it. And here is the beauty. So here they are, and I forgot to mention at the beginning that you will also need some powdered sugar to dust it on top. So let's just do that because it looks then like a snow and it's so pretty. Hold it. Just go like that and make it snow on top. Look how nice it is. So beautiful. Uh, so this is it and uh, I hope that you will give it a try and that would be amazing if you share some photos. So let's try this. Uh, I will go for the beehive. Right now the outside is actually soft but the next day it will almost like dry. So it will be different. And the bottom is right now crispy, crunchy. So the next day it will soften up. And also the cream will get uh, harder because I recommend keeping it in a closed container and just keep it in a fridge so it stays uh, cold. It's amazing. I have the cream all over my face, I think. It's great. The rum, it's just all the flavors blend in, the crunchiness of the bottom, the cream. I always put my mouth full and then I cannot talk. So, now I'm done and now I have this amazing flavor in my mouth of the rum. It's so good. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed this episode and I wish you all Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bye guys.